Why you mad? I got a bag, bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. What's good, YouTube? It's Emmanuel here with Manuel Sports and Documentary. I'm so stupid, I said documentary and it's documentary. Please don't roast me, it's my first video back in a while. Um, back at it again with another day in the life as a courtesy clerk, but this time it's part two in the pandemic. As you can see, I got my officer's badge on. Shame. You know, we gonna get right, right into it, man. As you can see, I'm almost ready to go, about to clock in. I think I clock in, to clock in, I think I clock, clock in, I think I clock, clock in, I think I clock, clock in, I think I clock in. About five minutes or so. And then I'll call you, catch you guys back when I clock in, get situated, show you this new machine we got well, ever since the pandemic started, so you guys can kind of get like how, because us, I'm an essential worker, so obviously we got to take very serious precautions. We got to get screened every time we walk in and everything like that. But I'll let you guys know once I clock in so we can get that. So up. I just clocked in right now, and now I'm going to show you guys this new screen that we got. It's like a little touch pad, and I'll show you basically how it works. So this is the Iverson's health screen. So basically what I'll do is just tap here on employee. If you got any of these symptoms, blah, blah, blah. Nope, I'll just click no. And then I scream. So right now uh, I'm gonna do the sweep. And as you can see, I have this after wear this. It has to stay on all day. I mean, if it comes off, obviously it doesn't matter, but you know, I'll probably catch you guys when I'm on carts again. So now y'all, I am clocking in the sweep. I don't know if you guys remember from the first Currency Clerk video, but it's this little machine right here. Like, it, I got to do it basically I, twice every hour, basically, if I'm on the sweep. It, to, to know if you're on the sweep or not, you got to look at the schedule and all that, but you don't wear it out, so you wouldn't know. Right now, I'm finna clean the bathrooms. As you can see, none of the workers really clean the bathrooms here. I'm really the only one. Every now and then, I'll see somebody. As you can see, it's not, like, horrible. Like, trust me, I've seen much worse, but... You know, the counter is just not that horrible. Mirrors need to be done. But this is just beforehand. And then I'll, I'll catch up with you guys again when I'm all finished. So I am finished with the bathroom, all nice and mopped up. And then I think I'll be on carts in a matter of 10 minutes. So we'll meet you guys back out there thing that our since did i forgot to tell you guys is now all of a sudden ever since the pandemic started covid started whatever you want to say they put these erasable marker uh sign off sheets up it used to be um i don't know if i if i showed in the original video it used to be with a pen but now it's with a marker interesting so i'm gonna be on cars in like five minutes i'm just gonna go check the time clock but um the funny thing happened on my, on, when i was finished doing the sweeps i had to go do a carry out so what a carry out is basically it's just like it's like an elderly person or something. They need, basically they, somebody needs help taking the groceries to their car. And it was like she was trying to give me a tip, right? And we're honestly technically not supposed to take tips, but I take, you know, I don't turn down no tips. You know what I'm saying? Like the pay here ain't that great. So I'm definitely not turning down no tip. But if it's inside or it's by the door, I don't want to get in trouble. So I was just kind of like acting like I ignored her. But then she kind of like grabbed her hand and hit it. Put it right there, and I was like, okay, I took that. I don't know how much was it, I don't really count it yet, but it looked like a few dollars. I mean, anything will help, but I just thought that was funny to tell y'all. Um, yeah, I'll be on carts in probably like three minutes now. We'll see y'all out there. And now, you guys, I am on carts. Um, it's actually, it's $5 Friday today, and it's actually looking pretty good. I thought it would be kind of horrible out here, but probably it wasn't that horrible because it was two people out here because we actually got a new courtesy clerk and somebody was training them. So they got double, you know, the work. So we'll see how it goes. I'm out here for an hour, so it should be a pre pretty easy hour. All over there, there's no more carts or anything like that. So I'm out here just searching for loose carts. It's completely not a day what I thought. Usually every Friday, this is $5 Friday, be packed. Normally around this time, it's like an hour past noon now. No, actually it's two o'clock, forgive me. Two o'clock now. So I'm out here just searching for loose carts at this point. You know, trying to get some work done. It's kind of frustrating when it's not no carts out too. Because, I mean, it's nothing to do. <laughs> He's gonna be sitting there for a whole hour, you know what I'm saying? So, so about two months ago, Albertsons actually, uh, they, they basically have a new policy now where we gotta wear this even outside. You know what I'm saying? It used to be only inside. Like when, so when the pandemic first started, it used to be you only have to wear it 
inside because obviously you're not as vulnerable to the virus outside because it's more uh, vulnerable. You'd be more vulnerable like in a confined space. So I, I can understand why we didn't have to wear it inside. I go again, slip of the mouse once again. I meant to say I can understand why we do have to wear it inside, but I messed up again as usual. But now even outside we got to wear it. And it sucks, you know what I'm saying? For some people, I mean, because no matter what the weather is, it's burning up hot, it's windy like today, or whether it's cold, whether it's raining, it don't matter, you all you always gotta wear it outside. So for some people, it's kind of annoying. Sometimes it get hard to breathe in this. And I, and I actually remember one time too, uh, when COVID first started, I, I was wearing one of those big old masks, um, <laughs> like the N95 mask, like the the one that engineers been wearing, like, like the they say it's the best mask, like the big old, uh, N95 mask with the little pinch right here. They got the thing to pull back. I was wearing that outside for an hour. So now I'm only wearing this little cloth thing. It's not as bad, but you know, it, it, I don't know why the heck I was wearing that. You know what I mean? But let's go over here and get these carts. You know what I'm saying? It's actually picking up, you know? So I kind of jinxed myself. I said it wasn't that busy and it actually is getting kind of busy. I can't really see, you know, too much, but it definitely is getting a little bit more busier. We are uh, finished off the side on carts. Now I'm doing temps. So basically, you gotta like, you know, come in here, the back, go through around the store just to make sure every, you know, food or product or whatever is on at the right temperature and safe to eat. Um, we gotta show you guys this laser I use right here. This laser, I set this down. Set this down. I, at first, I go to see what the actual tip of the of the whole room is and then I get this laser and that's the laser tip. It has to say at a certain level. You guys probably can't hear me because I'm in the dairy room so all these you know things are blowing everywhere but yeah. Alright you guys I just wrapped up my break. Uh just went to wash my hands I'm finna head back down and uh finish the next sweep. Um just had like some fruit snacks for my break. It was only 10 minutes I didn't eat a lot I'm probably just gonna eat when I get off. I only had like a four hour shift today so and I ate before so I shouldn't be too hungry. Seem to be pretty clean, so now I gotta sweep the floor. As y'all know from the first Curse to Cook video, you guys know how that works. Gotta sweep the entire store, and yeah. Yeah, I'm back on carts again for the final time. The wind is definitely picking up. Bro, look at that. Vegas is so bipolar. I said the wind is picking up, and as soon as I said that, look, the sun just came back up. Bro, Vegas is probably the most, one of the most bipolar cities, bro, you ever see. That's crazy, bro. You know, ever since the pandemic started as well, we have to spray the carts. Something we should have been doing anyway. But uh, it's supposed to be like a first stand, like in front of a store, a sanitation worker, and sprays them. But sometimes there ain't nobody there, so I just take it upon myself and spray it myself. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna take these on inside and then spray it with some sanitation. We gotta spray every single one. Take a trash out of this. Right away. Grab the bottle of sanitation spray and just spray it. All these other ones have already been sprayed, so it's just it's out. We spray them as we bring them in, basically. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. It's like the sun is out. Yeah, it's sprinkling a little bit. There goes the rain, full on rain. Can't see the little droplets, but you see, you know, dropping on my skin on the carts and everything. It's the, this was like the worst thing not to bring a jacket. Like I, did, I, I was in a rush to work today for some reason and I forgot a jacket. So, you know, I'm gonna have to call a lift or something. I can't walk today and like, nah, this ain't gonna work. I think our sanitation worker is right back out here. Here he goes over there standing. Uh, it makes my job a whole lot easier because when I bring the carts in, I could give them to him. He can spray it instead of bringing them in, spraying them as well. I mean, I, like I said, I don't mind doing it if I have to. This makes my job a whole lot easier when it's not as packed. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, sorry if I didn't get as much stuff as you guys wanted to see. Like I said, I only had a four hour shift today. And really, we're really not supposed to be recording here. I kind of had to sneak all day. The original video, which was that was in 2019, I did, you know, I kind of had to sneak all day. And today I, it was a little bit easier, obviously, because it was busier. It got busier towards the end, so you know they don't be looking and stuff like that. 
But, you know, guys, I hope you guys liked it once again. Hope you guys smashed the like button. Hope you guys hit the subscribe button. Because if you watch, you might as well subscribe, right? You know, I hate when people do that, but <laughs> I'll see you guys next video.